today's video, I'm going to be showing you everything I got for my senior year. You know what I'm gonna do? Is go through my schedule and let you guys know what classes I have. I am so excited. I have so many fun classes. Hey guys, what's up? Before we get into today's video, I need your guys' help to pick out a case to fly phone case for the first day of school. You can see I have literally all of my case to fly phone cases right here, and I need help to figuring out which phone case I should wear for the first day of school. If you guys don't know what Casetify is, Casetify is a tech accessory brand specializing in unique and protective phone cases. They also have watch bands, AirPod cases, and many other tech accessory bands. So as you can see, my favorite part about Casetify is they have so many designs you can choose from. So you can pick your favorite color or your favorite design. And something that's so awesome is you can add your name or a monogram on your phone case. So as you can see, I have KL, and then I have Kes Kes, Kesley. So I love to have my name on it. I actually do want to put a case like a K plus B on the end. I thought that would be super cute. Their cases are also made of 50% recycled material so you can feel good about your phone case looking great and they also have this antimicrobial coating that kills 99% of the germs on your phone case and they also send in the packaging a little hand sanitized wipe so you can wipe off your phone case when you receive them. So I thought that was pretty cool. Case Defy lets you have the best of both worlds. Their phone cases are protective and stylish. I mean, come on, look at this one. This one's adorable. It reminds me of Bailey with the little paw prints. And then on my past videos, I have done a little drop test on their cases. And it's crazy because their cases are drop test approved to six and a half feet. So if you guys want to see me do some drop tests, go check out those past videos. It is crazy to me that it is six and a half feet. That's like taller than me. I drop my phone like all the time, so it's really nice. I'm trying to decide if I want cases like this or if I want the impact cases with the edges that are popped out. So the cool thing about these impact cases is they're engineered with a two layer construction of Cheetex. So I thought that was super cool. Now I'm trying to figure out what case I want. So let me tell you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this like tan plaid skirt with a tan plaid like jacket. So it matches and then like a black tank top underneath. So should I do like this? I feel like this would look really good. Hmm. Let's see. So yeah, I decided this phone case, it says Kes Kes at the bottom. It just, the color matches perfectly with my outfit. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. And the cool thing is if I lose my phone, it has my name. So people will know whose phone it is. I did wanna remind you guys that I do have a code with them. If you just go to www.casefy.com forward slash Kesley Jade, you can get 15% off. So make sure to check out that link. It's down in the description. And yeah, go get yourself a cute case. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you everything I got for my senior year. All my supplies, I got a new backpack, all that stuff, and I'm, I'm kind of speechless, to be honest. I, I can't believe it's my senior year. I'm like sad. No, no, I'm not really sad. I'm not really sad. That's probably evil of me, but like I do not like school. I'm going to be going to college anyways, but like, I don't know. I just feel like it's a whole new step in life where it's like, oh, I can finally start a new chapter in my life, which I'm super excited for. I am going to show you everything I got. So basically what's in my backpack and then like a supply shopping haul. First, I want to do an OTD because I know you guys will ask. Just realized that I said OTD instead of OOTD, so outfit of the day. It's two O's, but I always say one O, so I'm sorry about that. But here is my OOTD. We have this cute chili red crew neck from Dick's Sporting Goods. I almost said sweatshirt, but it's a crew neck from Dick's Sporting Goods. I love the color and I'm so excited to wear during school. It's just a super cute shirt. I don't know. I love it. And then we have these shorts from Target. They're just simple and I thought they were just cute. And they also are a little more coverage, I guess you could say. Shoes, I wore just white, white bands. So that's my OOTD. And now I want to show my backpack reveal because I change my backpack every year. I feel like I get sick of the other one and <laughs> it gets dirty. So I get a new backpack every year and here it is. <gasps> Look how cute the color is. I feel like the color is going to go so well with many of my outfits. So we have this color here. I got this backpack from Called to Surf. They sell clothes there and backpacks and all that stuff. 
I felt like this is a backpack that was trending back in like sophomore year, but I was like, I never got one. So I'm gonna get one for my senior year. I don't have a lot of supplies this year because I've learned that I don't need as much supplies as I think I do. I guess I never use half of them. So let me show you all of my supplies I got. This is what we got here. It's very simple. Um, I got some black pens. I could not find like a big pack of mechanical pencils. I should have just gotten number two pencils because that's also something that you need. I never got, but I only got one packet of mechanical pencils and there's only four. And I usually lose all of my pencils. So let's just hope we don't lose all of these in the first week. And then we have the highlighter. I love these highlighters because you can see what you're highlighting. It has like a little, I don't know if you guys can see that. It has like a clear thing like right in the middle there. You can see what you're highlighting and I also love the colors. Definitely gonna need this for English. I know for a fact that we do use highlighters because I've used them every year just for my books and things and that stuff. I also opened my Pop-Tarts already, but I got Pop-Tarts just for as a little snack, which I'm probably not even gonna bring to school. I'm just gonna leave them here and then have them after school. I actually don't have a locker. I haven't had a locker since ninth grade. Lockers are so useless. I, re I remember I'd grab all these things, I'd grab snacks, everything. That was really nice in middle school because I'd go out of class and just go grab a snack. Next we have mint because always good. Just in case you run out of gum, we also have gum. And then we have post-it notes. I wasn't planning on getting these, but I was like, mm, maybe I do need these. And then we have this big notebook. Okay, so my dad showed me this and I was like, oh my gosh, this is the smartest thing that has ever been invented. So this is the book. It is a five wide rule notebook. So my dad's like, oh yeah, I got this in college. You don't, you use all the papers by the end of the year, like, and you only use it for a few classes. So in between, it has a folder that you can put your papers in and then it has a couple of papers you can write notes in. And then it goes on to the next folder right here and then it's the next class and then all that paper notes and all that crap so yeah and then at the beginning of the page we have this so i can write down every one of my classes and then the teacher and then stuff like that so i can have all my notes in one thing and then i don't have to go through every single book and i'm like okay where is my math book where is my english book i always had a problem with that so this is very nice, I recommend this, especially if you're going to college, recommend. And then last but not least, well not really, I got some folders just in case. So one for my homework I need to do, one for homework that's done, and then just next one, just in case. So I got those because I was like, mm, it's kind of nice to keep your things organized and I don't know if I'll use those folders in the notebook anyway. So last but not least, a planner. I actually want to start using a planner this year. I've never really used planners. I never end up using them in the first place. I'll get them and I'm like, meh. I have all of these planners and it has like a whole list of holidays. And yeah, so I'm actually so excited about this. But I'm excited because I know I'll be in school. Like if I have extra classes, I don't have a class second period. And so I know I'm probably just gonna go in my car and then just write things down. So for example, I'm going to be using this a lot to write when Brock will come down. Let's see, I haven't written it in it yet, but September. Brock is coming down September 2nd, I believe. And so I wanna write that down and then I'll write how long he's staying and then I can write the holidays and my plans and then what's due and all that stuff. So I'm gonna try using my planner. We'll see how that goes. I'm super excited for that. That's basically what's in my backpack. No, I'm not joking. Literally, you don't need as many things as you think you do. So you know what I'm gonna do? is go through my schedule and let, let you guys know what classes I have. So let's do that right now. First term and second term for semester, I have seminary, which is just like a little gospel class that I take. Um, that's first period. And then second period, I have biology. I was missing a term of science or something. So I had her into biology and then English and then Gov and Civ, which I'm really nervous for because I hear it's hard, but if you're there, then it's easy, so. And I had a problem with going to school last year, so let's hope I'm there this year. So yeah, Gov and Civ, and then that's just one day, so that's A day, and then I have B day, so the next day I have Film Lit, which is another like kind of English class, so really I don't need to take English if I take that, but I'm doing it anyway. So Film Lit, I'm not quite sure what it is, but my friends told me to sign up for it. 
And then we have painting, which I did painting two last year, painting two last year, which makes no sense because I haven't done painting one, but now I'm doing painting one this year, so it's like, oh my gosh. And then peer tutor, I thought that was such an easy class and it was super fun. And then I also have some math that I'm doing. So yeah, that is my first semester. And then you go to term three, my second semester. I'm actually doing some college classes. I am so nervous. We have a UVU communication class and then UVU psychology class. These are on A day and B day, so I do it every day instead of switching off. So I, ha I just have those classes and that's just period one. Second period, I don't have a class. It's gonna be very interesting. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Probably just go home, honestly. And then I have English again, and then seminaries, fourth period, so that switch. And then I have my view classes again for period five, and then six. I am so excited for second semester because I have so many fun classes on B day. So yoga, I have yoga sixth period. And then seventh period, I have life slash outdoor activities, which is just a PE class, which I did last year and it was so fun, but I have more friends in this class this year. It's gonna be so fun. I'm super excited and then I have my math again. So yeah, you guys, that's my schedule. Let me know your schedule. I'm, I actually wanna know. So comment down below your schedule, how it is, what's your favorite class, what's your least favorite class. My favorite class is probably, like I said, the life activities of class that just seems so much more fun. And then my least, probably math. I don't like math, but I don't know. I don't know how Govan Civ is, so maybe that will be my least favorite. But yeah, that is my whole back to school supply haul. We love it, we love it. So I took everything out of their packaging. Here's my backpack. Look how flat it is still. I love it, I kinda like it because my back was always hurting last year. So I have all my pencils, pens, highlighters, everything in there. And then we have folders, notebook, planner, and then my gum and then the mint and then my post-it notes that are back there. We have this pocket back here that I'll probably bring my laptop in. So I can do some like editing maybe for my my second period. I don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs> That's my backpack. Now I'm just gonna go through my day, do some more things. So you guys can just come along. I actually do have to go to the grocery store and get some like flossers and more deodorant. And then I actually, Brock sent me these cute freaking flowers. And yeah, I've just been cleaning my room, trying to get everything done because oh i never told you guys tomorrow's my first day of school <laughs> so i've been trying to get everything done literally today it's been super fun so i'm getting some stuff for my mom she wants some face masks and so i have this original like pore strip and then i got some like toothpaste and floss and then deodorant now i got to find some face masks to do oh right here we could probably do the gold ones that would be very fun Hold up, I changed my mind. I wanna do like a pill off mask, so I'm gonna do this. <laughs> We're back from the grocery store. I got the face mask, and then I got the nose strips, and then I also thought it would be super fun and yummy to eat, to get these milk chocolate covered pretzels. So if you guys don't know, the tradition with my family is every night before the first day of school, we do like face masks and everything, which is so nice because I don't, I feel like I never have time for a face mask when I'm just like, doing my daily life, like I just never wanna do it. So that's my favorite part about the whole entire year is just, you know, finally doing a face mask and feeling very hydrated on my face. So I think I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little school supply shopping haul thingy. Um, I'm a little nervous for school, but not too nervous. I'm just nervous to meet the teachers, but yeah. Oh, also, I did have a question. Fall is coming up, fall is my favorite season, and I love shopping for fall things. So if you guys want me to do like a fall haul of like what I get, like decorating my room, like I kind of want to decorate, like get pillows and things for Halloween. Let me know if you want me to do this whole fall haul. Um, but yeah, okay, you guys, thanks so much for watching, and I love you guys so much. I'll see you in another video. Bye guys.